finally got a break into weather and decided to head out for a two-day trip to ride the VA Creeper Trail, enjoy some of the sights of Damascus, Virginia, as well as get a night of camping in at the Mount Rogers National Recreation Area. What do you think they put in that time capsule, babe? Damascus is also known as Trail Town USA because seven nationally recognized trails are within its borders, including the Appalachian Trail and the Virginia Creeper National Recreation Trail. Where are you at? But I'm, where am I at? The creek. You're at the creek? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Creek. You're right. I think it's Laurel Creek. I didn't know this at the time, but this is actually Beaver Dam Creek. Beaver Dam Creek forks off of Laurel Creek just west of town. 1901, first street lamps. Eight oil lamps. Nice. Here we can see a shot of Beaver Dam Creek looking to the north. That is Laurel Avenue in the background and then also a view to the south. G-Money's having a little fun with the hiker mural here on the side of the restrooms. We're located in the park now and the Appalachian Trail runs directly adjacent. There is a library book pickup and drop off along with several rail cars here signifying the prominence of railroads in this town's early history. While in town we stopped at Blue Blaze bike rental to make our Creeper Trail shuttle reservations for the following day. This new looking building is the Damascus Trail Center which will be opening in early spring. It will house exhibits and visitor services. You're what? This is the trail center right there. Where are you from? Me. I bet this post office sees its fair share of action with hiker boxes being mailed there fairly often. It also serves as the information and registration station for the Appalachian Trail. Next year. Next year? Next year. Just north of the post office sits Damascus Old Mill Restaurant Inn and Conference Center. So if you're looking a bite to eat, a place to stay, or even to put on a special event, look no further. That is Laurel Creek that runs directly behind the mill there and the ducks and the geese were having a great day. Just to the east of the Damascus Old Mill lies this landmark outlining the seven trails that intersect within the boundaries of Damascus, Virginia. So we need to go to the Crooked Road. And then Ball Creek. That was the trail that we were just on back there with the trestle. We spent the remainder of the day enjoying the beauty of Laurel Creek there in downtown Damascus, Virginia, but it was getting late in the day. It was time for us to set out to find our campsite. All right, party people. We just arrived at our campsite. This mid to late April, but there's going to be some cold nights left. It's going to get down near freezing tonight where we are right now. We know what the weather's going to be like. It's not going to rain. Normally, I wouldn't park this close to a, uh, a raging stream like that. One thing I want to look out for is uh, dead limbs. we got strong winds. Right. I think we got a start here. It is super windy, but uh, we've got ourselves an old-fashioned drying rack here. Uh -oh. That's been all uh, corn. Bye bye. If you're not cooking with scissors, you're not cooking. Okay. Right, Char grill. Mmm. We are about to run out of firewood, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, you guys try these HERS, H-E-R-R-S, I guess, HERS, Carolina Reaper, cheese curls. They are freaking delicious. Ooh Pretty damn hot. Yo. 
you about the board, the blue glazed shuttle. Up to white top. We're in Damascus on the uh, Main Street. Damn. Look at my bike. Look at my bike. Yeah, my bike riding. station See, that's happening look they look at me we're at the top the unloading area let me turn it you got everything yeah you want everything yeah you want everything yeah everything yeah 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 let's go Taking off. Nice camper out there. White Top Station, which is this building right up here. It's, I guess, at the uh, train station. See all the Christmas tree farms in the background there. And that's White, White Top, Top Station. That's just a White Top. Yeah, so this all used to be a trail uh, railroad. So that was the train station. And you can see one of the uh, trail kiosks there, Virginia Creeper Trail. Christmas trees sold all over the place. Yeah, we're, we had to get everything situated. We had to get everything situated. There's, om there's almost like a coal ash. Got some horse, horse tie-offs. Here's the Virginia Creeper Railroad. We'll try to stop at all the good stuff. Right, babe? Uh, this is G Money's first time on the Creeper Trail. It's my second time. So it's a slight grade all the way down to uh, Damascus from uh, White Top Station. We're not gonna do the other part of the trail. We gotta get back home. We camped out last night in, uh, in Mount Rogers National Recreation Area. You like it, okay? You don't have to pedal, huh? That's just a fun thing to do if you've never done it. Uh, with the price of gas, though, the cost of shuttles has increased. We paid, uh, uh, let's see, we paid $22 per person just to shuttle. We brought our own bike. So. Coming up on your left. Yeah, so 35 degrees this morning. It was chilly. We had the diesel heater going last night. We got a bridge up ahead. There's a couple of trestles on here too, I think. Let's see. One of several trestle bridges. The original railroad required over 100 bridges, all made of wood. Hundreds? Wow. Yeah. So that's where all the trees were cut down to make all the trestles. Bay? Yeah. Alright, bay. It's a good trail, though. You don't have to pedal, really. In just a couple spots that's about it and the reason why we're here well obviously first time for G money but um, I've been out of commission for about five weeks now I pulled a, uh, a muscle in my thigh the front of my thigh and it messed my knee up for a while so I haven't been on a bike in a long time I'm trying to rehab it so this little motion here, I've been doing some walking. Just kind of a little slight bike ride motion just stepping out. So hopefully I can get back to myself for the summer. 
Right, babe? Thanks so much. A lot of people out here today. It's not even season yet, so. So right here it says some of the old growth trees, but most of them were stripped, that's for sure. Hemlocks, 12 foot in diameter back in the days. A lot of those trees were used for railroads and a lot of them were used for houses. But you don't see many, that's for sure. Yeah. Poplar and hemlock, babe. Got it. Let's go. Got it. Oh. Just a few hundred feet west of this point is an odd corner in the state line between Tennessee and Virginia, part of an era in the state boundary line. All the way back. Peter Jefferson, Thomas Jefferson's uh, father. This line was run west. Wow, somebody made a uh, mistake. So you got Virginia, Tennessee, and North Carolina all right here in the shame spot. They were in search of a steel. That's one of the theories why the, uh, the survey line's off. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, we can't ride bikes past no that point. Bike. No bike. We thought we was going to mountain bike there for a minute, but nope. Not going to happen. I think this is one of the overlook. Y'all ready for this? Dun 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 Christmas trees way up there. Yeah. Point out all the good stuff. Christmas trees up there on the top of the mountain. Wrong wrong place. There's the view that we were just looking at from the from the trail. The Christmas trees up there on the top. Yeah. Yeah. So we're at the intersection of 862. We're gonna cross over right up here. Nice yellow house. Burn. Burn. All right. So now we're gonna be at the intersection of Green Cove Road and uh, Green Cove Rail Station. All right, babe. It's clear. So this is Green Cove Station. Yeah, it goes to, from Abingdon, Virginia to Todd, North Carolina. 1914. You can read all about that right there. T-shirt shop. You want to drive then? It's got a Ferrari motor in it. Let's go! It looks like a... It looks like a five horsepower... Uh, this is a closed already. Briggs and Stratton. <laughs> closed, open. open. It's got a radio. This is a brake. That's a brake. That's a brake. Oh! What would you do if it started rolling?
Right. That's a good shirt for you right there. <laughs> oh, that's cute, babe. Mm -hmm. I got a rock in my shoe. Let me get it out. Oh boy. <laughs> Did you see Will? All right, you ready, babe? Yeah. Yeah, the one thing about it is you get a lot of rocks in your shoe. Is there some fine gravel? Oh, I got it. What was it? The map something. Oh, really? <laughs> Taylor's Valley, six miles. Damascus, 14 miles. Free Wi-Fi, cold drinks. Yeah, we're not quite in season yet, so not everybody is uh, open yet. Okay. William and Mary Buchanan Emergency Services Field. There you go. I guess we're going to have that too for people who look at you. He's sitting out in the middle. It's a great day. It is a great day. That's Green Cove Road. Kind of makes sense. That was the name of the rail station too. There's a creek bed there. I think that's the one that runs all the way into town. They've got some sheep on the hill. Little sheep up there. Creek Bridge. Bad. Bad. Got another bridge up ahead. Um, post number 44. So we're at another intersection here. That road name was. Let's see if we'll get it up here on the sign. Chestnut Mountain Road, 726. Some of these, I guess, are for rent. Mm, Coke, there's a coffee shop. Only store on the trail. Yeah, they got the fire going. Babe, you want some coffee? This is a popular place since it's the only kind of, I guess, the only kind of store on the trail. No, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to have to change mine anyway. So you can get to this off the road too, but huh? they have wool socks, gloves, coffee. We can't go this way and look right away from me. They got Brazilian coffee. Green Cove Collective. Good to e bike up it. Hey. All right. Somebody lost the water. The guy said yesterday he was catching uh, brook trout and he caught a rainbow. So they do stock it. Hell, there's like some coal ash in the road here. I'm guessing that's what it is. There's a little picnic area. Marker 43 
bridge over the creek here. Rolling pastures. Not sure which uh, peak that is over there. All right, bridge number 42. I mean, you don't need rest on this thing, but you know, just stop and just make a big of it. That's what we're kind of doing. We got a little creek bed here. Black bear and elk. Habitat destruction and unregulated hunting and trapping severely impacted the area. 1930s, there was no white-tailed deer, black bear, or wild turkey. The town of Abington was originally named Wolf Hills by Daniel Boone. I guess there were some wolves out here. Oh, run over me, bro. Next time. All right, we're coming up on bridge 41. The creek gets a little wider up here. We're at the intersection of Grassy Ridge Road here. Old style bridge across the road there. 26 tons, I don't know. I'd be kind of worried. But, well, I guess it is. I mean, I tell you, this laurel is all over the place. This stuff is a pain in the butt. When you try to walk through that crap, it will just, I mean, it's like, it's like, uh, fingers from a thousand ghosts that just grabbed everything. Everything. Look at all the laurel. I mean, it's everywhere. I think it's much bigger here. Small over there. Larger on this side over here. All right, bridge 39. What are you doing, Speedo? <laughs> All right, bridge 38. <laughs> All right, babe. Here's the significance right here. Huh? What do you think those are? Oh. Yeah, so your Appalachian Trail comes out and crosses This right way? There. Yep, and then it, see the white, this is where it becomes part of the creeper trail. See the yeah. white blaze on the bridge right there? Yeah. That's how you follow it. But so like see, this? Yeah, see the sign says Appalachian Trail this I way. I see that, yeah. Yeah. It's a big bridge. There's a trailhead down there. Money. See the white blaze? That's how you know you're on trail right there. Driving on the way up here, we saw one of the largest beaver dams I've ever seen in my life. Got some fishermen out there. There's the trout fishing. Beautiful. Gorgeous day. See the mountain in the background back there. Money in the background back there. Looks like they're gonna about some rock. There's another Appalachian Trail marker. Appalachian Trail. A lot of people have written on the. I don't know what that used to be. Some kind of something. Some kind of something, that's about all I know. I'm gonna have to research it. Beautiful water. There's another mark on the rock there. 
so the AT forks off up there yeah there's a bridge bridge 37 Beautiful. There's the Appalachian Trail over there. Yep. This little pool is swimming in the summertime. Got a little busy. Everybody stopped to see the uh, waterfall. Thirty-six. Thirty-six. Reach 35. Look at that big tree. Thirty-four. So they're counting down from the top the white top. Baby be careful right here. Thirty-three. Thirty-two right there. Got a cable across. Thirty-one. So you get the theme. Crosses over creek a lot. Yeah. Chestnut sided warbler. Warbler. I'm here to see Miss Beecher. Warbler, chirpy, chirpy, chirpy. Chirpy, 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 chirpy. Yep, chirpy, chirpy, cheap, cheap. Nearly all of the forest around the Virginia Creek Trail was clear cut between 1900 and 1930. Yeah, it's unfortunate that that was the way it was done back in the day. They had the same problem in North Carolina. Bridge number 30. Beautiful. Beautiful. Virginia creeper vine, yeah. Vine. All the time. Look at how tall the ridge line is around this though. We were out on a two day trip and uh, we just got here a little yesterday, so we camped out. Yesterday was not a good day to be riding on here though. It was really super windy. So we decided to do it on the day that we have to drive back home. But a lot of blow down up there. Some cool rocks over there. Yeah. A lot of cool blow down. Bridge number 29. Yeah, a lot of these signs indicate the end of private property. 29 right here. Got cables and stuff though. I guess people cross. Campground. Nice camping. 
We just stopped at uh, one of these campsites here just to change batteries. We got a nice little campsite, fire pit in Laurel Creek over there. And there's our bicycles. All right, we're at Taylor's Valley. Bridge number 28 here, a little bitty small one. Got a little Yeah. Campers. Little cabin on the trail. Alright, so we're at the intersection of uh, Taylor's Valley Road 725. Nice camper. Probably high 60s right now. All right, bridge number 27. Nice green hills. How you doing? It's a gorgeous day, isn't it? It's a gorgeous day. I like the tin roof. Spot on right there. Good color too. Waccamaw Lane, 725. That ridge line up there. Community club, that's the old uh, caboose there, isn't it? Or a train car. Okay. What did you say, babe? So we're back in Mount Rogers National Recreational Area. So this thing kind of meanders between uh, national forest or recreational area and uh, private area, I guess. Firewood, babe. Right there. Just for you. Fork in the road. Trapped. Oh, here we go. So this is White Top Laurel Creek. Yeah. Brook, brook trout due to the high water quality, cold temperatures. Brown and rainbow trout successfully breed in these streams and streams and few fish are now stocked in life. Wow. Finally you got a trout. Yeah, they don't even stock them. They uh, there's so much population. Wow, that's how we the fishing here too. Yeah, for sure. Bridge number 26. Cha-cha, cha-cha for now. All right, we got another bridge. Let's see. This has got to be something in the 20s. I don't see the sign, but definitely another bridge. What are you doing? Bridge number 22. I'm about to run out of batteries. Curves. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of beaver out here. I mean, look at that. Now, some of that's washed, but most of that thatch in the middle is beaver. And they have to totally rerouted that thing. Totally. Bridge number 21. The high trust. Look at the rock formations over there. They must have had a problem with people jumping off and swimming. Well, railroad ties.
bridge number 19. Some folks camping over there. Bridge number 18. It's a big one. The wicked chicken. Got a wing house. Sasquatch. Goes under the bridge now. Okay. There's your AT blazes, and there's your water source. There's where the trail comes out. There's your water source right there. Wicked chicken over there. Get you some wings. I think they also have like ice cream over there. We're coming up into town and we're just gonna go right adjacent to Main Street. But just behind everything. The subway. Mojo. A lot of outfitters, a lot of uh, bike shuttles. Here's number 17 right here. Oh, Master down there. On your left. I think that's the pool. All right, Shady Avenue. We're right here in downtown. There's our main street back there. Watch out. Pick up the, park. Pick up the van. So this is where we walked at last night. Bridge 16. So this is turned into the uh, A little bit different trail. There's our bike outfitter over there. See the van from here. You having a good day there, bro? Damn. That was it. We're back at uh, the starting place. This is where we took off. Actually, we took off from the bike outfitter over there, but that'll do it for this video. Till next time. Skill up and ride, van up and go. Just remember, everybody needs a plan B. Cha cha for now. Okay? Yeah. Want to say? Yeah. No.